Welcome back here. So last week we spoke with local doctors to help answer your coronavirus questions. And this morning we want to help you in a different way. After a weekend staying home, even longer for some of you, we want to talk about your feelings, stress, and how to not feel alone during this isolation. We asked you, viewers, to text us your questions. And now marriage and family therapist and author of Stretch Marks, Amber Trueblood, is joining us on the phone. Good morning, Amber. Thanks for being here. Good morning, Eric. Happy to be here. All right, so the kids have been out of school for a week. My wife and I are starting to pull our hair out a little bit. Uh, you know, everyone handles this a little differently. What, what can parents be doing to, to lower their stress and not feel so isolated during this time? Yeah, there's, there's quite a few things. And some people who felt like they were on vacation and everything was going smoothly last week might feel differently this week. So it's going to be different for everybody. So just give yourself some, um, some space with that as far as um, – and, and trust yourself, it's going to be okay, and you're going to get through this. So that's the first thing. It's kind of there's going to be a little bit of a mental shift. Mm -hmm. We're going to focus on, you know, what is your, you know, keeping everybody safe. Your priorities are keeping everybody safe, keeping everybody sane, and and having that connection. So it's like, what do you, what can you do for yourself physically, mentally, and emotionally, both for you and your kids. So I have a list of tips. Where would you like me to start? Just, yeah, the, the ones you think people need right now. Got it. Well, I think for keeping kids busy and just trying to deal with having kids, mm -hmm. if you have a family with kids and you have them at home and you're trying to work or even just get household things done, it's a very different environment for most people out there. So if you have a little bit older kids, like maybe eight and up, what I do with mine, I have four kids that are, you know, seven, uh, nine, 11 and 12. Mm -hmm. And so they make a list every morning of what they're going to do that day. And it includes outside time or physical time if it's, you know, just pouring rain or snowing or something outside. And it includes um, some academic work. It includes free reading. It includes something creative. It includes some music. It includes like a household chore. They get to choose it. They get to do it in whatever order they want as long as they do that responsibly. If not, then the next day maybe I step in. But so far that's been working that's really, cool. really well for me. And we've been doing that for six months now because two of my kids have already been homeschooled. So um, I love that idea. Also, you want to, and you want to keep the chores different. So you don't have two kids trying to do the same chore together. Sure. I, I highly recommend everybody has their own thing. And, um, and then the next day, maybe it switches. Somebody's doing something different. I also react to the, um, the words, I'm bored, or I don't know right. what to do with, oh, I have a great idea. <laughs> We can clean out the pantry or we can go through this. <laughs> and most of the time that's met with like, actually, no, 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 I just thought of something. I so keeping do. them busy. <laughs> yeah. And, on and, task. and we call, yeah, we call the, the something in the morning that I got tired of asking them if they brush their teeth. So I would say, and you can do this even with kids that are going to school as well say, did you do your trifecta of terror? I have four boys, so, you know, that seemed like a dramatic thing. They made up that word. And it basically means get dressed, brush your teeth, make your bed. Um, but they remember it that way. And so you can make little things fun. Um, for younger kids, and if you're trying to keep busy, get things done, get work done at the same time, I recommend going through old toys. Mm -hmm. I remember yeah, when this. I would go to clean out the toy room, I, w I would say, wait, guys, we're trying to clean this up, not get everything out and then play with it for six hours. Yeah. Now, yeah. right now... That would be amazing. <laughs> Amber, we got to run here, but I, I, wanted to pre I wanted to say thank you for the, the tips. It's yeah. keeping the kids busy. It's coming up with some ideas at the beginning of the day and setting those goals. So, Amber Trueblood, thanks for that. We really appreciate your time here this morning. We do want